Yeah, you put way too much on. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I'm Kanna, and today I have a really special video as part of the Mills and Playlist. Um, everyone knows this is Chloe Morello. Hi. Chloe is the reason why Sugar Mama TV exists. Chloe was the one that actually pushed me to go out and set up my own channel. I'm actually Chloe's financial planner. I give her her cash flow budgeting investment advice. Um, keep her like on the straight and narrow. Chloe's actually helping me with a video this time. So I actually wanted to do this video on minimalism and makeup, which is part of my 10 plan series or how to on doing minimalism and taking it to a deeper level. Now, everyone probably thinks it's kind of funny. Chloe has a lot of makeup. I have a lot. But it's my job. Exactly. And also, you're the expert. If I want to know what are the top products I need to have to be able to get the most amount of usage out of my products, create as many looks as possible and have really good quality products, you're the girl that I want to speak to. You know how to create beautiful looks, natural looks, really enhance people's features without having to like use a ridiculous range of products. Right. So, Chloe and I are going to do our makeup together, mm -hmm. incorporating minimalism, showing you how to buy minimum amount and get maximum looks. Great. So, Ken and I discussed what to do and we thought that we'd show you two different makeup looks using the same products. Yes. So you said you are going to do the minimal look I'm going to do the minimal day-to-day -day kind of natural look and that's also because I'm really bad at blending. Um, <laughs> I like to I blend get, today. You're going to have to teach me and show me along the way. And Chloe, you're going to do the like glamorous nighttime, nighttime yeah. look. And the cool thing about what we're going to do is I think that if you do choose to do the everyday look, then you'll be able to add right on top to get the nighttime look without having to start again and waste that makeup. So we're showing you how to create as many amazing looks with using the least amount of products possible so that you can live a minimalistic life. Something that I think makeup collections can do without is a primer. Mm -hmm. Unless you have really oily skin or a problem that you're looking to fix, I really think that moisturizer is just a nice way to get your daily hydration mm -hmm. in and to prep the skin. A lot of celebrity makeup artists don't even use primer. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so we're already cutting down on our product usage. Yes. Oh, and this the is the one you can use at night time. I've seen you or in the morning. Stories. Yes. I oh, like to use it in front of makeup. It's very refreshing as well. It's, in, it's got a mm. citrus smell. Yeah. So it wakes up the skin and makes you look nice and glowing. So that you can use at night time before bed and in the morning. So that's just going to make sure your skin's supple and ready. This foundation is the Weightless Blur Foundation. I think it's nice because it's in this nice squeezy tube. You're not going to waste any product because of the applicator. It's got that certain applicator. And also what you can do for zero wastage is when you think you've finished it, cut it, the tube open and you'll find so much more product I in there. Think so this one you can apply a little bit and get an everyday look or you can apply a lot and get higher coverage. This one is good because it has adaptive pigments so even in your winter color it will match to your paler skins and then in summer it will adapt to match your tan skin. Okay that's good to know because that means you stop falling into the trap of feeling you have to buy one exactly. for summertime, one for winter time. Yeah and it's light and easy to pack so you can travel with it or put it in your purse. And you're using a ha your hands which yes. is always good. I have, am in the habit of using a brush you can tell who's the professional who's it already. I do use my fingers sometimes, especially if I was doing an everyday look. So we've used the same colour and because it's got skin adapting pigments, it's yeah. worked for both our skin tones. Yeah. So this product here is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's a brow gel and an eyebrow plumper in one. So if you are like low on time in the mornings, uh, and that kind of thing. It's a good one-stop shop for your eyebrows so you don't have to pencil them in and everything just to get the look. So for night or day this is good. And I have to say also for myself, um, having a nice strong brow means I don't actually have to wear that much more makeup because it really yeah. frames my face um, and it means I need a lot less products. Yeah and this one's waterproof so it should last all day and it's got the color in it so it's not just a clear one so you're getting that look of filled in brows without having to do that. So see how we're not going for more products, we're just layering up and using what we already have. Uh, now is when I would like to move on to eyes and for a daytime look I think it's completely optional to not even do eyeshadow. Don't so you agree? Minimalism, no need for um, eyeshadow. Yeah, mm. I would probably move straight on to an eyeliner or just mascara. Mm. 
But if you want something for work to look nice, this is a nice palette from Dior. It's called the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in 002 Cool Neutrals. And this one's cool because it has a primer in it. And it has a range of pale nudes, some shimmers, and some deeper shades. So you can go anywhere from a daytime look to a glam nighttime look. Yeah. So one palette, it's got the shimmers, it's got the mattes, it's got the primer. Like, it's a multi-purpose palette. And that's all you need. You can quickly and easily put that into your makeup purse. It doesn't take up much room. And you're not buying heaps of stuff. Totally. And I'm going to show you some little tricks to use darker shadows as eyeliner and things like that. So you don't even need other products. Yay! So I am not good at blending. And again, I'm using my fingers, don't need a brush, just blending away with my fingers. So I always think for day it's still nice to have a bit of shimmer. So mm -hmm. if I were you, I'd take this golden colour. Okay. Do you want to use a brush? Okay. And also, just so you know, we're also using um, two pronged, like multi purpose brushes. So you, again, you don't need to be buying every single makeup brush that you know, you can buy these and use them in different ways. And yeah. even what I do when I'm doing my makeup sometimes is I'll adjust it by squeezing it like that. That's a great idea. To, to get in under my eyes or to do a particular like buffering yeah. or contouring. And again, not using, having to buy lots of stuff. Totally. Well, you can use that brush if you oh, want. Thank yeah. you. So where, I'm putting all over. That one. Yeah, I'll just put it all over your eyelid. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to do the same and then I'll show you how to build that up. So I'll take the same color. Put that in the center of my lid, but Kenna's going to put it all over for a glowy lid. And then I'm also going to put some on my inner corner and up under my brow bone. It's a really nice color. Yeah. It, such a versatile palette. It really is. And then for you, Kenna, I would move straight into getting a little brush. So if you ever want to do eyeliner, you can just wet your brush with some water. You can use any water, really. It doesn't have to be setting spray. And I also use this primer as well. You spray it on your face before you apply your makeup and at the end. And yeah. it means your makeup lasts so much longer. So again, needing less makeup, you know, during the day to reapply. It gets you so through true. the day. It's so good. Because that's a primer, a setter, fixer, everything. All about the multi-purpose. And so you could use that as well, totally. Um, just wet your brush if you ever want to make an eyeliner. And that way you can use the eyeshadow from your palette to line the eyes. Now, Chloe, obviously you get sent a lot of products. Yes. Um, what do you do with all the makeup you get sent? Well, I like to do giveaways for my followers so I can give back to my audience. Aww. So in every video, I do a giveaway to someone that leaves a comment within the first 12 hours. So that's how I encourage my followers to be a subscriber mm -hmm. so they see my new videos. And I also donate... Oh my God, I donate so much makeup. I think they're getting sick of me. Where can people send their makeup to? You can't actually donate used makeup though. Um, I donated it to the women's shelter over in Redfern. Mm -hmm. There's a couple in Redfern actually, or I send it to Waltja, which is an indigenous community uh, program in Alice Springs. Mm -hmm. So I like to donate as well. I try to donate over there the shampoos, mm -hmm. body washes, basic makeup and stuff like that. To my friends, I give them, like, yeah. the eyeliners. Chloe's given me some. <laughs> so minimalist. But I need it, because you only buy what you love, value, use, and appreciate. True. And then for me, I can take the same palette and even the same brush. And what I do, actually, is I use, like, an old face halo, which we might talk about later. Yes. Um, to clean off my brush. This thing, you don't need to buy, like... 20 different brushes like just clean your brush as you're going along with one of these face halo products which are amazing yeah and non-toxic zero waste and um, no recyclable re like reusable amazing we're gonna talk about this in a second yeah um, you could also use I mean a regular washcloth is not going to be as effective because it's not microfiber but mm. you could just flick it off like on the back of your hand or something too stop using tissues and yeah. like wipes and cotton buds and stuff like that completely like so damaging to the environment get yourself one of these like it will save so much money and so much space in your cupboard so i've just applied the same color that canna did to her lid and i applied the deeper shade through the outer corners for a nice little light smoky eye that's so pretty. And then I'm going to take this nice shimmery one. Same brush. I've used the same brush this whole time. And I'm just going to smudge it out underneath the eye. Connect it to the edge. This palette is so versatile. 
And that's the thing, when, you're, when you want to have a minimalism makeup, like all streamlined, stick to palettes that you know you're going to really use. As fun as it is going with lots of bright colors and, you know, getting really exotic, um, at the end of the day, you've got to look at what you use, like what's appropriate for your, like, day-to-day -day activity. <laughs> And then I'm going to take that brush I use for foundation to help me clean out the edges. And again, multi-pronged. Yep. Now also when it comes to minimalism and makeup, like what can we do to try and recycle and reduce our wastage? Um, like are there products we can, like I know MAC have a program where you can take back your lipstick containers once you've used them up. Um, like what other things do you know of and that you do? Um, well, there are a lot of naked brands these days, like there's Lush, Etique. Etique mm -hmm. is a brand in New Zealand that uses no plastic. They wrap everything in like paper wow. and it's like solid shampoos, conditioners, so that you're not wasting plastic uh, and that kind of thing. Lush also do that sort of thing, so they have naked shampoos and that. And as well with them, you can return the empty tubs mm -hmm. and get free product. So yeah. you don't have to throw out their tubs when you're finished. Same with MAC. And when you act responsibly with your products and, and when you've used them, you feel so much better. Like you're, you're doing your part for the environment. T tip with blending, take off all the product that's on your brush or a lot of it before you go and blend it out so that you're not just reapplying, you know, too much product. And when you wet something with water, it intensifies the pigment. So even though I've got that color on my eyelid, I can use it as an eyeliner and you know it's going to match the rest of your makeup because it's the same tones that are in the palette. So now that the eyeshadow is on, we can highlight under the eyes with that same foundation. And just so you know, I'm not using concealer. I'm actually just using a tiny bit of foundation just under my eyes. Yeah, because sometimes with the eyeshadow, it can get underneath, but you don't really need another product. You can just layer on more foundation. If you don't have, you know, really um, eye bags or something that you want to cover mm. or discoloration, then you should just be fine with a little bit more foundation. So yeah, now mascara. Because unfortunately, like I said, can't really do anything else. But it's the kind of product you use almost every day. Product to do. Now, it depends how minimalist you want to get. Mm -hmm. Lanolips is a really good multi-use brand. It's so good. Like, if you use their lip balm, I don't know many other lip balms that will be this good. Mm -hmm. And so they have these tinted ones. And I think for you, you could try this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dab some of that. You can put some on your lips, some on your cheeks. So I'm going to put a teeny, I'm going to... Yep, and you pat it on your cheeks and it gives a really nice dewy glow to the cheeks. And also if you can see how it's reflecting light on my cheekbones. I love it for this and the dewy look is really on trend right now. Um, I love this on my cheekbones. This is so, like, this is taking away shimmer, a highlighter, illuminator, and blush. And it's all blush in one. in one and on and, your lips. And lipstick. Yeah, it's like so it's all you need products in for one. all that. Yeah. And you can also put it on your eyelids for that dewy eyelid look. <laughs> My look is completed and I have um, used only eight products to create this look. And, and eight products for this look. Yeah. We use the same. So we're living proof you do not need to have an excessively large amount of makeup. Only buy what you love, value, use and appreciate. And you get it? creative. <laughs> you know, as Chloe said, put, put additional layers, ooh, layers on to make pigments darker add water or prime like a back um, primer to make the pigment more intense mm -hmm. layer it up contour more and of course think about the, the environment when you're buying all these products little things like buying a palette instead of you know the individually packaged ones using these you know face halo makeup cleansing brushes you don't use any products you're not using any cleansers or oils or creams you simply wet it and rub mm -hmm. it off your face and we'll show you how easy they, they are to use this will last you four years is if not longer and then you use it as a cleaning product in your own home I will link in the video description box below all the details as to where you can get these oh, from thanks, so guys face halo I'm a part of the company so thanks Kenna for supporting me this is our product it's called the face halo basically it's a microfiber pad looks like this this is our new one the face halo pro but the original is white and um, it's just a makeup remover that uses only water so you wet this little fabric round and you use it to remove your makeup without the need for any chemicals any expensive products 
or any other accessories, you'll be amazed at how effectively it removes your makeup and I, quickly. I came over here with a whole face of makeup on, um, and then we realized we were gonna start from scratch to do this video. I had to quickly take it all off, and literally within 20 seconds, all my makeup was gone, and my skin was left feeling really soft. It's got a really gentle, natural exfoliant to it, mm -hmm. so not yeah. as many products. It's so gentle as well, mm -hmm. like it's recommended for people with eczema. Yep. It's that gentle. Wow. So yeah, you can get that on facehalo.com or in Priceline, Maya, Beauty Bay. So if you're from outside of Australia, I recommend Beauty Bay, or if you're in the UK, facehalo.co.uk and the US is facehalo.com. And they are non-toxic, recyclable and reusable. Mm -hmm. How good is that? Yeah. So that's it for this video guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this very special tutorial with the beautiful Chloe Morello who <laughs> We should all be saying thank you to Chloe for pushing me to launch Sugar Mama TV. Yes, I love your channel. Oh, thank you. Every I time I channel. need inspiration, like for saving or minimalism, I watch your videos. Oh. I love it. <laughs> I have notifications turned on for Canon. Yeah, I hope you have your notifications turned on as well. <laughs> all right, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. And I will link in the video description box the products that we've used, Chloe's channel, and everything about Face Halo. But thank you guys for watching and embrace zero waste and minimalism. Thank you. Bye. Bye.